And so, if we could inoculate everyone in the valley, and I mean everyone, I think we can avoid another flu epidemic this year. Yeah. Doc? Yes, Sam? Just for the press, when do you start the campaign? Well, I have my three assistants here and ready. I say there's no time like the present. You meet right here and now? Why not? Oh, well, no reason at all. Except I personally have to get right back to the store, especially if I want to meet the deadline on getting this story into the Guardian. I'll see you to the train, Sam. Why? Out of politeness. Politeness? Yeah, politeness. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> Girls, I told you it wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> oh, Steve. Yeah? Have you finished shaving yet? Yeah, why? Come on in here before you put your shirt on. <laughs> What's Larry? What's that? A flu shot. Oh, didn't you know? We're all helping Janet inoculate the valley, and you're going to be my first victim. Patience. Uh, I think you were right the first time. What do you know about giving shots anyway? Have you ever done it before? Oh, certainly. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. But there isn't, huh? Gosh, no. We're fine on the orange. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> on what? Oh, that's what we practiced on. Oranges. And Janet said I was very good. Almost never broke the needle. <laughs> oh, almost never, huh? Ah, don't be a big baby. Come on, turn this way. Yeah. Now, just stay calm and quiet, and you can look the other way if you want to. Is anything wrong? No. It's just my first time jabbing it into human flesh. I don't like that word picture. <laughs> Bobby Joe. I'm sorry, Orrin, but you have very tough skin. You're trying to put it through my game warden patch. Oh. You should have a very healthy sleeve. <laughs> It only happen at druggers. Some stores give trade and stamps, and we give flu shots. <laughs> oh, howdy, Newt. Hi, right, Sam. Uh, give me a sack of chicken feed. Uh, I'm in a hurry. Coming up right away. Oh, while you wait, you might as well get your flu shot. A what? Flu shot. Everybody's getting one. Oh, I haven't got time. Well, you got to take time. Doc Craig is shooting for 100% in the valley. Sam, I got a farm to run. Yeah, but... Sam... You gonna give me my chicken feed or not? Well, I, uh, 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 Billy Joel. Yes, Mr. Drucker? Oh, hi, Mr. Kiley. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy Joel. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, she's the nurse who gives the flu shot, but he's in too much of a hurry. Oh, who, who's in too much of a hurry? <laughs> this is something important, isn't it? Very important. We're hoping to get 100% here in the valley. Oh, I'm for that. I'll get your chicken feed right away, Newton. No hurry. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, oh, uh, no. If I need anything else, uh, I can get it when I come in this afternoon for my second shot. Oh, we well, only need one, Mr. Carly. Oh? <laughs> oh, what about a shot for hives? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not equipped for that. Sunburn? <laughs> Poison ivy. Warts? Newt. I thought you had a farm to run. Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'll be back if I have a relapse. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, you do that. Yeah. Hi, Newt. Your chicken feet. <laughs> Okay. Bye. Bye. How did you do? 100%. I shot everyone in my area. 
Bobby Joe, if you're going to be a nurse, I think it would sound a lot better if you said you inoculated everybody in your area. <laughs> okay. How'd you guys do? We're both 100% too. And now all we have to do is hear how Janet is. Oh, here. You can fill out these listing the names of the people you gave shots to. Boy, the deep, dark secrets you learn when you're a nurse. How can you learn deep, dark secrets just giving flu shots? Oh, you don't think so? Oh, what I don't know about Ben Miller. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know if I should tell you. Okay, then don't. <laughs> All right, Bobby Joe, what is it? I thought you didn't want to know. Okay, forget it. <laughs> Why don't you try me once more? Okay, if you insist, I'll tell you. Ben Miller has a tattoo on his left arm of a cupid doll. I knew it would floor you. <laughs> We did it. We're all 100%. Good for you. I wish I could report the same. You mean somebody refused to take the shot? Do you know a Jasper Tweedy? Oh, up on Piney Ridge? And that's the fellow. I've been a living without shots this long, and I ain't about to start now. <laughs> Uh-oh. What about the rest of his family? Wouldn't let me touch them. I explained to him that the children come down into the valley to go to school and that it was important for them to be inoculated. And? No way. The more I argued, the more stubborn he got. Finally, he got out his shooting iron, and I sort of got the idea that he wanted me to leave. <laughs> there are so many of those Tweeties, they could start their own epidemic. Well, it's all those kids. Well, they missed so many days of school last year through illness. <laughs> Joe, you used to know Jasper Tweedy up on Piney Ridge. Oh, yeah, I used to play checkers with him. Boy, what a tough loser. One day I told him to crown me and he grabbed the butter churn. <laughs> well, as long as you're such good friends, you could be the one. The one what? The one to go up there and talk Mr. Tweedy into taking his flu shot. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I'm no doc. That's in your department. Uh, unfortunately. He chased me off with a gun. Oh, Joe, if you could just talk to him. Would you, Uncle Joe? Please, Uncle Joe? Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, it's quite a hike up there. My old double detached slip disc been acting up lately. <laughs> well, we could, uh, we could use Orange Jeep. I'll drive you up. Yeah? I get car sick. I'll give you motion pills. Motion pills give me an upset stomach. I'll give you stomach pills. Oh, I don't know. Them pills are... I'll give you pills for your pills. Yeah, well, I... Oh, boy. Oh, all you have to do is turn on that old Uncle Joe charm. Well... Janet, did you know that Uncle Joe was once considering going into the diplomatic corps? Well, no, I didn't, but I can understand it. With his suave manner and his ability to get along with people, his cool head... And his debonair. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Oh, Uncle Joe, you're wonderful. <laughs> Boy, am I a sucker for the truth. <laughs> I'll give you the high sign when to come in. Just so it isn't too long. Don't worry. I'll let him win so fast it'll make your head swim. That'll soften you up. <laughs> Checkers. 
How come you so eager to play checkers after all this time? Well, I've thought about it a lot. You know how a fella puts off those things sometimes. For ten years? <laughs> my, my, has it been that long? Yeah, that long. Well, if you're afraid of taking a thumping... Now, hold on. Carson, them spiteful words. Set up the checkerboard. <laughs> Give me a thumping, will you? We'll see about that. There, they're all set. Get! <laughs> Remember, Carson, I don't want none of your shenanigans. Oh, you know me, Jasper. I know you, yeah. Last time we played, you put two red peppermints on the board, trying to make me think you had a king. That was just for laughs. Well, I wasn't laughing. And I still got the butter churn. <laughs> you move first. <laughs> That's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you lose that one. <laughs> I gotta watch myself, or I'm gonna take an awful beating. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this one ought to block you. Uh, <laughs> Why well, get more competition from a dead bird bull cat? <laughs> <laughs> In my day. <laughs> I ain't had this much fun in years. <laughs> What'd you say? I said you were good. Too good for me. Yeah, yeah. Paul, <laughs> oh, who's the pretty lady in the automobile? Don't bother me, son. I... What pretty lady? Out there. <laughs> The doctor lady was out here before. What's she doing here, Carson? What's she doing where? Carson, you trying to trick me? No, 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 no Jasper, I can explain everything. You ain't gonna explain nothing. Pull up, give me my static gun. Sure. Oh. <laughs> with the wrong people getting the shot. That must have been awful. It sounds absolutely frightening. Give me another cup of black coffee. <laughs> Joe, don't you think I should give you a sedative? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Chill. Well, at least we tried. I had Jasper right in the palm of my hand until that Claude showed up. Claude? I remember him. He was in the sixth grade with me. And two years later, he was in the sixth grade with me. <laughs> Maybe if we tried to work through him. What do you mean? Well, suppose we could get Claude to take his flu shot. Then his father would see that there's no harm to it, and we could get the rest of them. Right, Janet? Yeah. You're not Janet. <laughs> well, well I, I admit it does sound like a possibility. Do you think you can get around this Claude fellow? Are you kidding? See that? That's what you're going to wrap him around, eh? <laughs> well, if we can't, we ought to turn in our girl badges. Oh, don't leave, Claude. We want to talk to you. Remember us? Don't reckon that I do. Oh, sure you do. We went to school together. Could be. I spent so much time in the dunce corner, I didn't see too much of the class. Well, I'm Billy Joe Bradley, and this is my sister, Bobby Joe. Oh, sure. Now I remember. Do you care to set a spell? Thank you. Love to. <laughs> you lost or something? Oh, no. We came by to invite you to the square dance Saturday night. You want me to go to the dance with you? Both of us. How come you asking me? Well, the thing is, we... Uh... Well, 
<laughs> oh, haven't you heard? Most of the other boys have come down with the flu. Flu? But they wouldn't have gotten the flu if they'd had their inoculation first. Their, their inocula what? Inoculation. Golly, I don't much blame them. That sounds horrible. Oh, but it really isn't. Maybe we should give Claude an inoculation. We wouldn't want him to miss the dance. Oh, we sure wouldn't. Hold it there. What, what's that contraption? This is what we use to give flu shots. Where? In your arm. Roll up your sleeve. But that thing there looks like Ma's darning needle. Oh, don't worry. It won't hurt that much. Especially a strong, muscular arm like yours. I got that pagan rocks at Rabbit. <laughs> What's that there stuff? Alcohol. It sterilizes the skin. Gets rid of all the germs. Alcohol does all that? That's right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. My pappy's got the healthiest stomach in the whole county. <laughs> okay, Claude, you ready? Hold it, right there. <laughs> oh, hi, Paul. What's going on here? I'm getting a inocula... Uh, what is it that I'm getting? An inoculation. Oh, oh, no, you ain't. I'll give you just ten to get your eyes out of here. Count for me, Claude. Oh, but Paul. I said count. One, two, three. Keep counting. I'm thinking. Sick of gush. Oh, I count dog is yes. They sick as it I don't blame you, Gus. Them were mighty pretty girls. <laughs> Medico Junction will return after these messages. For all the... Go on, just go in there and wait in the, the doctor's office. Hello, Orrin. Hi, hi, Orrin. Oh, hi, Bobby Joe. Doc, I uh, just brought in another patient to be inoculated. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. You certainly bring in more than your share. <laughs> they do come of their own free will, don't they? Oh, sure, sure. Where do you find them all, Oren? Oh, out on my rounds. Some of them have too many fish in their creel, or they're shooting in areas that are posted. I let them know that if they'll get their shots, I'll put in a word with the magistrate to go easy on them. <laughs> oh, Oren, that's bribery. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you want to label it, uh, that's what you call it. <laughs> Well, I suppose with the success, or rather the lack of it, that we're having with the Tweedy clan, I should be glad for every other one you bring in. The Tweedy's giving you trouble? Boy, yeah. that's the same as it is with me. If I go up there once a year with a citation, I go up there a dozen times. Oren, then you know how to handle them. Oh, well, I, uh, I just said I go up there. I didn't say they accepted them. <laughs> Yes, but he has to have, uh, respect for you as an official. Oh, sure, sure. They gotta respect this, all right. Start fooling around with the law, that's when they've gone too far. Well, then you're just what I'm looking for. They don't even... I am? <laughs> for what? To go up there and order those people to take their shots. Order them? <laughs> or else. Or else? Or else you and I are through. Bobby Joe. I'm sorry, Oren, but this is very important to me. To all of us, Oren. Well... Boy, sometimes I wish you were an ugly girl. <laughs> Something about you. Yeah, well. Miss Tweedy? Well, another wild goose chase is nobody home. You're going to wake somebody. That's the general idea. Come on. <laughs> Hello there. 
Oh, it's the lady doctor and a revenuer. Why, we ain't got nothing to hide, have we? Here, Mr. Officer, take a swallow. You'll find it's nothing but old spring tonic, no more kick to it than sarsaparilla. Yeah, well, no, no, I, I really don't care to. Try it. you like its tangy goodness. <laughs> Proven, isn't it? It's not really why I'm here. It's not really why I'm here. See here. See. You tell him. Warden Pike is a duly appointed official of this county, and he is here to order you people to submit to inoculation. He's what? You heard him. Uh. I'm here to... You're doing fine. I told you once, no shots, and that goes for me and all my kinfolk. Now get. But, sir. I said get. And if you ain't out of here by the night, another batch of moo uh, sarsaparilla's done. Boss, boss, you take care. You good for nothing, hound. So, oh, well, that's all right. Claude, keep them coming to the out of sight. In here, Paul, now get. Hey, Doc, that old boy looks sick. I think he does. Better take a look at him, huh? Just hold it right there. Gus is all right. Mister, you don't know what you're talking about. I've been around animals all my life, and I know a sick one when I see it. You're the fine paw. You're going to catch it. What do you think? Well, he's run down. I think some B-12 would help. Ah, uh, you're going to be in big trouble now. I can't let you give Gus no shot. Now, you leave that dog alone, I gotta shoot you. Miss Sir, you're not shooting anybody. There's a defenseless animal there. He gets helpful to you like it or not. Ready. Well, it sure works nice of you all to invite me to dinner. Oh, well, that's the least we could do, considering all your efforts. Yeah, you made a big hit with Joe, too. You're his kind of guest, one helping of everything. <laughs> It's Jasper Tweedy. And the whole Tweedy clan. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Steve, Steve, push a can in front of the door. All right, get your gun. Girls, barricade the kitchen. Where are you going? Uh, sure, it's my hiding place. Oh, forget it. I'll talk to him. Oh, well, it's him. Mr. Tweedy, I don't know why you're here, but if it's trouble, you, you've got it. Oh, no. No, sir. We don't want no trouble. We just want to talk to the doctor lady. You do? I'm right here, Mr. Tweedy. What is it? Well, ma'am, we just want to let you know that old Gus is up and around. And feeling right chipper. Oh, well, I'm very glad to hear it. And seeing as you did such a good job on Gus, I figure I can trust you with the rest of my family. <laughs> you mean you're going to let me give them their flu shot? Just trot out your needle. Got every Tweety from the ridge out here. Oh, splendid. Uh, how many would that be? What? How you doing with your count? <laughs> uh, I, I counted my fingers and my toes twice already. That's 15 right there. <laughs> oh, at least. <laughs> well, girls, scrub up. It looks as though we have a lot of work to do. Uh, would you like to be first, Mr. Tweety? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't you take my mother-in-law first? Just in case anything go wrong. <laughs> what? I'm coming. Drop and give out six. Six hours, that is. Watch Sunday in the Barracks, the whole morning of Hogan's Heroes, and the Phil Silver Show. Tomorrow morning, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, right here on TV Land. Now stay tuned for Green Acres, as Hooterville Saturday continued here in TV Land.